I had 10, uh, 10 cats about uh, three weeks ago. One of them uh, died, and I suspect it might be, well, it's almost 100%, like 99%, that she died of, um, of um, anaph anaphylaxia, basically uh, an allergy to uh, rabbits. Okay. And I've, I've taken rabbits, I have adopted, um, I wanted to adopt one rabbit, but it turns out I adopted uh, one adult, okay, which I thought was the, the mother, but it turns out to be male, so I thought maybe he or she, or she, he was actually uh, the father, which I don't think so, because uh, this rabbit grew, grew a little bit more, which is good. Because I wanted a big rabbit, but it and so I've adopted like one adult and three babies. One of the babies uh, died of uh, because of because of coccidi. Okay, a par it's a par it's a intestinal parasite that probably was eating away all the food that uh, he. His name was Little. I called him Little because he was smaller than than his uh, sister and uh, brother, if, if they are a sister and brothers, because I don't know. Um, I adopted them from a, called a Berger Blanc, and it's, um, uh, so I adopted them, they were a deposit in a box, so I adopted them from there. Uh, the Berger Blanc is a, um, it's a um, animal shelter organism, organism, so, Anyways, so after about four months of suffering because of uh, the smell of urine, like I don't put animals, even if I would have put them in a cage. So basically rabbits do not belong in houses nor in, uh, nor in cages because it's going to be too cruel for them. And if they're running around, they have that. Even, even a house is not, is not enough for them. And also, it's better not to mix um, species, especially uh, okay, especially cats and uh, rabbits. So my rabbit um, turns out that I don't know. It's just not just the urine, but it's something else. Uh, I've done a video before this one that uh, that uh, mentions that uh, I might be like I might be allergic to uh, rabbits. And uh, also, I had to stop my estrogen patch, putting on my estrogen patches because the because the estrogen heightens the uh, the sense of smell into a aggressive uh, mode. Like every every odor was just more aggressive. So so and the urine of the uh, the uh, rabbits was like very overboard, uh, over overburdened. Like you're really aggressive. So. So anyways, and also I suspect that I might be allergic to, uh, to rabbits and three of my cats. One of them, Tsigru, which Tsigru is up there. Tsigru is, on, is the one sitting on the fridge right there. So Tsigru died. Uh, he had a short enough breath. He was trying, to, you know, breath. So he was trying to breathe and he couldn't. So I rushed him to the hospital and he died when the technician uh, took, took her, okay, took Tsiguru. So he, he died on her arms or went into a shop. And, and it was, that was it. Okay, so, so basically, uh, Rabbits cannot stick, cannot live in houses also because the it's a species that I suspect that their their urine is um, very potent. It's their urine is there. It exists to destroy the nose of their predator, like uh, wolves or cats or other predators. Okay, their urine is very powerful, so it can't. You can't have. Okay. Uh, you can't, you cannot have, uh, um, you cannot have like rabbits in a house also because, you know, the urine is very, the urine is very powerful. 
you know, the, the, the smell is extremely so you know so they're best bet you know not to have them as pets not in cages and I am vegetarian or vegan so to have them like in cages for uh, for their meat none also so it's not so this is uh, I have data on my lap here so my my 10 or my formerly 10 now 9 is one family a mother with her eight of her children one boy and seven uh, seven uh, daughters and Dora is a adopted okay I found her outside on my street like tiny was about tiny 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 okay she, she came to me when I she was uh, she was meowing so when I went outside she came towards me so I picked her up and I brought her here so basically uh, rabbits and dogs okay dogs don't belong in her, and unless they're very small okay but big dogs don't, do not belong in houses nor in apartments okay and uh, and also rabbits because because of their urine and also their pellets you know, their uh, their poop okay uh, they need a wide space to to evacuate evacuate all the urine and their uh, their their pellets their intestinal pellets so and and even if they're in cages or in houses it affects them because I noticed that all my cats are and all my all the rabbits that I, the the three rabbits that are left okay it's uh, Newton, Newton the adult, Boxer the um, um, Boxer is the one of the little ones, Little, and then Jean Jean. Okay, so I noticed that all of them are just uh, shaking their heads, seem to be shaking their ears because they have like some sort of like uh, not an infection but uh, a um, uncomfortably they're uncomfortable with their ears or something that goes into their ears okay it could be the fumes of the urine or the pellets or something else uh, and there's a battle between their my skin, my skin flakes or or skin dust their skin dust you know cats and, and rabbits okay so it's better to stick with one species and also I can't really you know I can't really look for you know rabbits you know my rabbits are taking like almost like uh, 80% of my free time, okay, and I'm working, so that doesn't include, when I come here, I just clean up everything behind the rabbits and also, and also, rabbit, you cannot mix, um, you cannot mix uh, rabbits and cats, okay, despite the, because my cats are fighting with each other, okay, so there was a, there was an accident between uh, Jean Jean and the uh, mother of, of of uh, her eight, uh, eight uh, um, kids, okay, or children, uh, and she, um, um, my my cats are fighting with each other. So cats basically, when they when they fight, they instinctively they shut their eyes, okay, and they have like their their eye is more protected, and they have like the inst they have more of a reflex to shut their eyes when they're attacked. Rabbits is not the case. So Jean Jean got a uh, little got a um, which little died because of coccidie. Uh, he got a claw in the eye, and his eye um, uh, became better. Like I mean, uh, his eye regenerated or like healed. And Jean Jean got uh, got the same thing. Except Jean Jean had a had an abscess under the uh, the eye, but that's not because of uh, uh, my cat Sava's claw. That's not because of a cat claw. That's because of the fumes, because of the uh, the air. The ambient air is not very it's not very good because it's unclean. Okay, despite the fact that of all the uh, all the win uh, the windows open. So, so I was he was ta she was taking uh, medication. Okay. So she was taking medication to uh, 
to lower the two medication okay to lower the uh, the inflammation and also an antibiotic okay so so I'll be getting gingembre right now Okay, now this is this is Zheng Zhang, okay? You see? This is the eye that she, where she got the claw. It's, you know, I don't know, uh, probably two claws. One that's jabbed into her, uh, into the skin around, surrounding her eye, in front of her, the skin in front of her eye, and then one into the globe, okay? So, and on the 27, she has a, Okay, on the 27th, she has a, um, an appointment with the, vet, with the veterinarian, okay? So, oh yeah, okay. So, the way to give her... Oh, I forgot to take it. Oh, okay. Okay, so, I have to take, like, first I have to shake it. Okay. Anyways, like I said, I'm, it seems that I'm allergic to, uh, to them. And three of my, uh, four of my cats are allergic because they're, they're sneezing and they're wheezing. And one of them died, Sibiru, uh, died from uh, ana, anaphylaxia. Uh, couldn't breathe. And she was trying to breathe. As, and she was a revulsion as, as if she wanted to vomit. So at first I thought, that she would, she had swallowed something that block her, you know, block her uh, air canal, which I don't think it's that. So, and boxer, boxer is not with me because I met the uh, the uh, animal protective organ uh, society has uh, accepted a boxer. So. Boxer will have a home or a some kind of sanctuary. Okay, so I mean it's a no kill. It's a no kill um, sh animal shelter. So I make sure of that. Uh, so there you go. Supposedly no kill. Like I mean I don't particularly trust anybody, but the only like the only time that I believe in euthanasia to animals or even or even humans, or men or women, is you know when they lost all limbs, for example, in war or or a, a train wreck or whatever, or a train run over by a train and they lost like all four limbs. I'm sorry, you know, we can't we can't revive this person. Okay, animals also. Okay, but that's that's my that's my feeling actually. It's not not just a, an opinion. It's my feeling. So here, uh, 1.6, okay, so let's see, my, okay, so that's close enough, okay, so this is Zhenzhong, oh, the Zhenzhong, okay, 
my nose is not tingling like before but you know there are all the the two rabbits that I have left are on I have a big huge balcony and they have access to the uh, to the roof of the uh, the apartment five apartment buildings my cats too but at the moment like I have to seclude my cats inside the apartment they, they don't have access to the um, the balcony and also the roof but the rabbits are have access to are on in the uh, on the balcony plus they have like a cabin right you know, attached to a balcony so they, they hide there uh, even there's a little hole at the bottom bottom of the the door I'll, I'll put place photos down on my uh, I'll place photo down on uh, on a website and the address to the website will be on at the bottom of the video so you just go like this so I have to check her eye okay she on the 27th she has a an appointment with the vet okay and by the 26th she'll finish her medication it's been two weeks it's gonna be two weeks that she has been taking medication okay so so this is okay so this is Jean Jean I might as well show uh, Newton okay so I'll be back This is this is Newton, <laughs> the uh, the husband of Jean Jean. Okay, so this is Newton. Okay. Okay, this is Figaro, okay, Figaro had an eye infection about uh, two weeks ago and she has an appointment on the 26th of uh, October, okay, it's a female cat to she but I call her Figaro because of her, her, looks like a Figaro to me, anyways, so, okay, so, I've separated them because uh, when Jean Jean got got the claw, uh, two claws around her eye and inside her eye, she got really mad. So she really attacked uh, the mother cat Sava, okay, and Sava was running away from this rabbit. So I can't. So I have to separate. And also because of allergy, I don't want to see another one of my babies dying again. So I had to separate the rabbits and the cats because. They'll kill each other, or, or the, uh, or one of them will die of ana anaphylaxia, or, or uh, acute al or very um, severe allergy attack. Okay, so as I said, you know, cats and 
and rabbits should not be uh, sh should not be mixed. As a matter of fact, any species should shouldn't be any mix. Uh, shouldn't should not be mixed at all. And also, uh, rabbits shouldn't be in houses nor in cages because of their the way they have to uh, evacuate their intestinal uh, pellets and urine. It's like it's very powerful. It does affect them also. Okay. And I suspect the urine is there to destroy the nose of their predator or carnivores in, in, in general, okay, and probably other vegetarian. So, so 